Hello everybody, Lord Almighty here. Today is Tuesday, May 9th, 2023, and I'm here at a local pond after work seeing if I can't get some largemouth bass. Could see some fish on beds, being that it's about that time of year, but I'm actually hoping that most of the fish are still in a pre-spawn mode because that's when the fish seem to be at their heaviest and their hungriest. I'll start out by throwing around my favorite springtime bass lure, which is the black and blue chatterbait. And we will see if Big Mama's home. Oh wow, I have uh, stumbled upon a uh, bluegill nesting colony. Look at all the beds out here. Just a ton of them. And you know what that means? A lot of times the bass will hang around on the edges of little bedding colonies like this. And if a bluegill strays too far away from the group, it becomes lunch. Let's see if we get a bass here that'll mistake my chatterbait for a wayward bluegill. <laughs> ah, nuts. Oh boy, this one must be really stuck. Let's hope I can pull it out. Probably not though, I think I lost this one. Yep, dang it. I think I have another black and blue chatterbait. If not, I will be switching colors. Yeah, here we go, we got one. Oh, there was a bass that came up right there. Right there, went after the chatterbait. Pulling out of the water before he could get it, unfortunately. Here we go, fish on. All right. And it broke the line. That's 12 pound test. It shouldn't break like that. And that was a fresh knot. Ugh. Well, that was my last black and blue chatterbait. I mean, I got chatterbaits in other colors, but that black and blue, that's a top producer here. I got the fish, but was quite a price to pay. There's a fish. Bring this one over land. Oh, Thank you. All right, so alternate color chatterbait seems to be paying off. Not a big fish, but a bite's a bite. There's a fish. We hit that pretty close. All righty. Not bad. Maybe three quarters of a pound. They're all not bad. I don't care if they're three inches. There's no such thing as a bad fish.
Oh boy. Let's hope I can get this one back. If I lose this one, I might be boned because I don't have any other dark colored chatterbaits. Oh, it's just hooked on some line. Let's see if I can get that back. Nope. All right. Well, at least I got a coil of line I can dispose of properly. All right, well, given that I've gotten all of my bites out of this cove here, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and work back through it. But I'm gonna make a lure change and I'm gonna throw around this black jig with a blue twin tail trailer. Maybe work a little bit slower, maybe get some fish that might have chased the chatterbait or looked at it and want something a little bit slower. What is a jig but a chatterbait without the chatter? That one wanted it. You know, it's great to get immediate feedback on a choice that you make. All right. Things started out as kind of a disaster, losing two of my favorite lures right off the bat. But if I can keep getting bites like this, I'd say it was worth the sacrifice. Feeling a few nicks in the line here. I'm super paranoid now about line condition. Can't afford to lose another black and blue lure. I might not have any more. Here we go. Always oh, off. Nuts. That felt like it could have been a good fish. Oh, wow. <laughs> he was just swimming with it and back he goes. Perfect release. He was just swimming right at me. I didn't even know he was on. Here we go. Well, he was right up against that wall. I mean, right up against it. This thing must have been six inches from that wall. There's that hook. There it is, okay. Oh. He's eager to get back, so I won't take up any more of his time. Now this is all water that I've already covered with the chatterbait. So these are fish that passed up the chatterbait, and now I'm getting them on the jig. Maybe I should have started with the jig. Heck, maybe if I go back through here with a black and blue Senko, I'll get another dozen. There we go. That one just picked it up and started swimming away with it. Didn't feel the strike so much as just saw the, the line going. Well, 
that hook is really in there. It's gonna have to get the pliers for this dude. There we go. All right. Sore lipped another one. Bites pretty good this evening. There we go. I think that fish hit it on the previous cast. I felt a bump that I thought might have been the bait hitting a rock, but no, I guess it was this guy taking a swipe at it. All right. Ooh. Ooh, now this is a surprise. Look at that. Dude, this thing is brand new. Dude, somebody lost this thing yesterday. Wow. I don't know what brand it is. Looks like an off brand. But it's in great shape. I'll take it. Well, I lost the two chatter baits, but I gained a crankbait. Fish gods taketh, the fish gods giveth away. There we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Took me a while to figure out that that was a fish, and no wonder. Easy, buddy. All right, might be the smallest one of the night. It's okay, they all count. There we go. Thought I wasn't hung up on the weeds anymore. They just keep on coming with the jig. I was really bummed when I lost that, uh, or lost both of those chatter baits. But uh, jig came off the bench and saved the day. Oh wow, he hit that right at my feet. <laughs> I think the only reason I felt him was because I was going to pull up for pull it out of the water for another cast and this guy says nope nope I'm eating that all right Go. Casted it right in that slop. And this might be fish of the day. I believe it is. Come on up. Yeah. Look at this. There's a chunker. Not quite big mama, but. That's pushing three. That's a solid fish. I'll take that all day. Beautiful. Well, everybody, I think that is gonna do it. Turned out to be a pretty good evening of fishing. I think I caught like nine or 10 bass and I thought things were going south when I lost those chatter baits because the black and blue chatter baits like my big time confidence bait for this pond, especially this time of year. So 
once I didn't have those anymore, I was worried that uh, the wheels were coming off. But uh, I decided to tie on that black jig. And man, I think that might have worked better than the chatterbait would have. I was just getting bites all over the place. So uh, didn't get anything big. No, uh, no big mama tonight, but uh, if I'm not going to get a big bite, I'll settle for a lot of bites because I do love the action. Thank you all so much for joining me, and I will see you on the next adventure.